Salesforce certificates and key pairs are used for signatures that verify a request is coming from your org. They are used for authenticated SSL communications with an external website or when using your org as an identity provider. The problem is, you can export or import all your certificates and private keys only into or from the key store. This allows you to move keys from one org to another. The exported file is in the Java key store format JKS and the imported files must also be in the JKS format. So how to do it? We need OpenSSL and Java installed on your local machine. With Java all is simple. If you have VS Code installed, then obviously you have Salesforce extension pack. It means you already installed the Java development kit, JDK. To get OpenSSL you don't have to download it from OpenSSL.org. All of us have Git installed on local machine. So just check your version. OpenSSL version dash A. On Windows use Git bash to work with OpenSSL. The OS 2.0 JSON Web Token Bearer authorization flow requires a digital certificate and the private key used to sign the certificate. Let's check OpenSSL in another way. Which OpenSSL? Create a directory to store the generated files and change to the directory. Generate a private key and store it in the file called server.key. You can delete the server.pass.key file because you no longer need it. Generate a certificate signing request using the server.key file. Store the certificate signing request in the file called server.csr. Enter information about your company when prompted. Generate a self-signed digital certificate from the server.key and server.csr files. Store the certificate in the file called server.crt. Let's see what's inside. Next step is to create key store.
create a pkcs12 file using OpenSSL. Create the password. Convert it to JKS. Create the password. You can use the same password as in the previous step to make it easy for you. Source key store password is a password from the previous step. Let's check what's inside, because we need to know the name of the alias. Alias is number 1. Ok, got it. Let's try to import the certificate from Kisto. We have to change the alias within a Kisto. Old alias is number 1. To check the path, enter pwd, print working directory. Ok, let's change it to the alias with the name new. Enter key password. Select the file. Save. Working now. That's it.